Hey there, everybody. This is Charles from the Gamer Infinity welcoming you back to... Well, not back to. Rather, welcome to a new Let's Play. Because I feel I haven't been uploading as much to this channel as I should be. Or rather... Yeah, as I should be. I don't know. I, I feel as though I could contribute more. So I'm going to Let's Play Pokemon Red version. Um, I have not prepared for this Let's Play at all. Um, to be honest, I don't think I need to at this point because I've pretty much beaten this game a hundred thousand times at least this yeah this is the one I grew up with uh, actually had blue version but I think I traded it for Pokemon cards and later traded Pokemon cards for a red version which I played the crap out of um so this is probably the version of the game that I'm most familiar with <clears throat> and let's start our Pokemans adventures new game Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. Oh. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon. As a profession. Uh, first, what is your name? Oh, let's see. We got Red, Ash, and Jack. I... I guess Jack's like a really common name. I'm surprised it's not like John, but um, let's name same our guy. What should we? Can't name him like Gamer Infinity. That'd be silly. Can't name him Jaster. This is my channel. Let's um. Let's you know what you know what. Let's call him Red. Why not? Even though that's like the most uncreative name ever. You know what? we're gonna call him Rojo. Why not? Actually, I want lowercase. No, 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 no. You know, we're gonna call him Rouge. Yes, Rouge. Yeah, that's that's a manly name. <laughs> this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Uh, um, <clears throat> what's his name again? And this guy. This jerk, his name's gonna be Azul. Why not? That's right, I remember now. <laughs> his name is Azul. Rouge, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. All right, so here we are, the magical world of Pokemon. So let's see what we got going on here. We have a, uh, SNES! Awesome! <laughs> Alright, let's play some Final Fantasy, uh, 2. Let's withdraw a potion from our PC. Uh, the PC can be used to d store items in your house, like, uh... In, in your house, it's just items, I believe. Uh, other PCs can store Pokémon. I think these are windows. We have a lot of shutters and tiny windows in our house. This is like... Oh man, this is classic. Cram full of Pokemon books. <laughs> what other kind of literature would we need in a world filled with Pokemon? None. That's the answer. All boys leave home someday. And I'm gonna do this joke again. But mom, I'm ten. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on a railroad tracks. Walking on a ra walking on railroad tracks. I'm guessing that's the movie. Um. Oh, the Stephen King movie. God, what is it called? Where they find the dead body. Nah, forget it. It's like four boys in Maine. Because it's always in Maine. Oh, I can't do much here. In black and whiteville. Hey, wait! Don't go out! It's unsafe! Unsafe? I have it. Unsafe. Why does that not sound right to me? You need your own Pokemon for protection. I know. Here, come with me. I like how uh, Oak's little hair thing moves from left to right as he walks. Or as he walks, sorry. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Zoo? <laughs> he's like, he's confused that he's here. He's like, what the hell? Are you? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Oak has no idea what day it is today. There are three Pokemon here. 
They're inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I only have three left. The rest died. Well, I get to pick one. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Yeah. Be patient, Azul. You can have one, too. Here we have Charmander, the lizard Pokemon. Obviously prefers hot places. I mean... So you want the fire Pokemon, Charmander? No. Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon. <laughs> the fact that that rhymes is enough. I don't even need to read the rest. No. I want the last Pokemon. Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. It's the plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. I love Bulbasaur. That's my Pokemon right there. Do you want to want to give a nickname to Bulbasaur? Yes. We will call him Sprout. I feel weird putting all caps. I, I've always felt weird putting all caps, but like it doesn't. It looks wrong when you when you're in battle. Everything else is in caps in this game. So we get Sprout the Bulbasaur. I'll take this one then. Yeah. And he got a Charmander, because he's like he's like sitting there reading his little uh capture log Silidex, and he was like, I need to find out which type this guy's weak against. Cause we don't have Pokedexes yet. That's far off into the future. Yeah! Azul wants to fight. Alright, so in case you're wondering the deep, complex Pokemon battle mechanics, uh, we have two attacks, Tackle, which hits them, and Growl, which lowers their attack. So let's use Tackle, obviously. Uh, we only have normal attacks right now, so I'm just going to speed through this battle. And we lost, which is unfortunate. Because I could have used that money for Pokeballs! Smell you later! Yeah. I guess he's related to Oak because he has that same silly hat or hair movement going on. I would check the books in there, but I'm pretty sure they're all about Pokemon. Why wouldn't they be? Alright, let's see. We have some items. I could have used a potion in that battle, but I was like, eh, forget it. And if we go into this house and talk to her... Hi, Rouge. Azul's at Grandpa's lab. Oh, we can't get the town map yet. It's it's a it's a big map. This is useful. No. Why would it be useful? I mean it's not like we're about to, you know, go explore the world. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. But I don't need to use a potion. Oh here, let me just punch your Pokemon. Yeah, so he gives us a potion, which is nice. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. That's how I do every day. I just jump over stuff. And what's this? A wild Pokemon battle against Pidgey. I am not going to catch Pidgey in this game. Uh, I usually don't, honestly, because Pidgeys kind of suck. Alright, so let's continue on the path of glorious and righteousness and all that gloriousness stuff. Let's go heal up, shall we? What is this guy doing? I like the sitting animation. Pokemon Center's healed your tired, hurt, or fated Pokemon. There's a Pokemon Center in every town ahead. <laughs> How do you know? Have you been to every other town? I want to know that guy's story. That is kind of her. So this area of the Pokemon Center is for linked battles, which I can't do, and trading Pokemon, which I can't do. And this area is for healing your Pokemon, which I can do. Yes, you shall. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, so there's, like, tons to do in this Viridian City. I mean, we'll never get it all done in one episode. Phew, I'm trying to memorize all my notes. Yeah, by the way, nobody took notes on Pokemon. Except me, of course, because I was a nerd, but... Let's go to the Pokemart. Hey, you came from Pallet Town! You know Prof Oak, right? His order came in, will you take... Oh, just because I live in Pallet Town doesn't mean I know where the guy lives. Well, I mean, I do, but that's stereotyping. 
Yeah, so as the guy said, we can use our mad hopping 10 year old skills to jump fences like a madman. Wee! Woo! Wee! Woo! <laughs> they should just add that sound effect into this game. Woo! Super fast travel! Oh, fat guy. I didn't talk to you, fatty. What are you doing, chunky? Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via the PC. That is pretty incredible, honestly. Technology and Pokemon are the way of the future, obviously. Oh, Rouge, how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems a lot, or to like you a lot. Oh, why am I... Talented as a Pokemon trainer. I forgot the voice. What? You have something for me? We give him the parcel. I don't know who calls it a parcel anymore. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Why would Professor Oak need a custom Pokeball if he told us that he doesn't go catching Pokemon anymore? Hmm. Nah, I'm sure it means nothing. Uh-huh. The Pokedex. I see. It's a high-tech encyclopedia! <laughs> I have a Pokédex app on my iPhone, Gramps. That was my dream. But I'm too old, then why did you need a Pokéball? Give me the Pokéball, old man. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Borrow town map from my sis. So not to lend you one. <laughs> Jerk. That guy's a dick the authority on Pokemon. I don't even know him. I study po- uh, it like baffles me. Ah yes, the good old uh, Professor Oak has AIDS joke. Uh, I'm not gonna- I'm gonna take the high road on that one and say uh, no. So let me get this map. Thank you. You know while I'm here. <laughs> no, that's horrible. She's out of my league anyway. Look at that hair. I'll never be able to have a woman with hair like that. It takes up half her body. My god, that sweet body. I moved. Ah. Anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon. Join me back next time when we go to Viridian City and other places. Yeah, why not? This has been Millennium Jester from the Gamer Infinity. See you next time.